Dear colleagues, welcome to my hospital at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is fecal emulsification of a soft cataract. This is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus. You can see oozing of blood from the lips of the main incision. This is 2% HPMC filling off the anterior chamber. Now, two side ports are being made. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away and this is another side port on the right side of the main incision about three clock hours away. Now capsular axis, the anterior capsule is incised with a 26 gauge band needle a flap is raised. Now I use a uterata forceps, hold this capsular tag with the, with the uterata, go anticlockwise, remain at a certain distance away from the margin of the people and thus I do a fairly round rexus and now hydro dissection the posterior leaf of the main wound is depressed some viscoelastic substance is expressed out and then this fluid is injected we could see the fluid wave going from this side to the opposite equator now the nucleus is mobilized and we could see that the nucleus rotated nicely. This is again injected into the antechamber and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FACO handpiece. The machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3 and here it is. The tip goes bevel down into the antechamber remove some superficial cortical matter and now the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus in this case since this is a hard cataract the tip is just supporting the nuclear mass if I apply vacuum, it will just remove the lens matter in front of the tip. So just bury it in the pit, support the nuclear mass and use the chopper to slice the nucleus. This is the way for nucleus sclerosis of grade 1 plus or 2. And now Nuclear fragments are emulsified with ultrasonic energy and they are removed. FECO power required in this case is very less, about 30 to 40 percent. And vacuum is 350 millimeter of mercury. Flow rate is, flow rate is 45 ml per minute. And that's it. The nucleus and epinucleus has been managed. And now, viscoelastic substance has been injected into the anterior chamber. And now, Bimanual irrigation aspiration is being used to remove the cortical matter. The irrigation is from the right side port and the aspirating probe is removing the cortex from 4 o'clock to 2 o'clock or 4 o'clock to 1 o'clock. Now I change hands and remove cortex from 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock. In this case, I can see some lens fibers sticking to the posterior capsule. And what I do is hydro polish. Direct the fluid jet on the posterior capsule and sweep it. In this case, I am using IA2 
with the vacuum is very less say about 30 millimeter of mercury flow rate is also very less say 20 ml per minute and with this low vacuum and low flow rate we can polish the posterior capsule very safely and now in this case capsule is a Hoya intraocular lens since this is a device where we need both hands the left hand holds the cartridge and the injector and the right hand screws out the lens in the capsular bag here goes the leading haptic it is going straight into the capsular bag and now the trailing haptic is pushed into the capsular bag and now the lens is dialed in such a way that the haptics are 90 degree away from the main incision now the viscoelastic substance 2% SPMC that has been used has to be cleaned out very thoroughly so that we can avoid post of rise of visco related intraocular pressure this is irrigation by the irrigating probe of bimanual IA go behind the eye wheel and irrigate the capsular bag thorough irrigation of the anterior chamber the anterior chamber angle the capsular bag removes most of the viscoelastic substance and now irrigation and aspiration are used together to remove the rest of the viscoelastic substance and now little bit of moxifloxacin is injected into the anterior chamber and the side ports are made watertight by hydrating the stroma on either side of these stab wounds. And now, this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber with a 23 gauze Simcoe cannula. This is by Freyush BSS going again into the capsular bag and giving it a final wash. And after this, the antechamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Here it is. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with great skills.